Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about Assemble Special for an Unstructured Block. Unstructured domains only require one edge. Similarly, unstructured blocks only require one face. For the example on the screen, it's pretty easy to see that there's only one face, and I can select all of the domains and click Assemble Blocks from the toolbar. But what if I want to create a block with more than one face? Say something that looks like this, where I have the sphere inside the block. For that, I will need to use Create Assemble Special Block. When I come into this menu, I can start selecting domains that make up the block. For blocks with multiple faces, always start with the outer face. You'll notice whenever I select a domain, it gets surrounded by these orange arrows and it highlights in this light green adjacent domains. A quicker way to select would be to select a domain of that makes up part of the face and then go to select all adjacent. Now I can click save face and the normal arrows show me that where cells will be created. I click OK. Assemble special can also be used to diagnose why a block will not assemble. For example, the mesh you see on the screen appears to make an enclosed volume, even though I haven't made a block. But let's see. If I click Assemble Blocks, zero blocks were created and 17 domains weren't used. So there must be a problem. How can I find it? I can use Create Assemble Special. Those orange arrows that surround the edges of a face will come in handy. I can select any domain, use Select All Adjacent, and I can see that there are orange arrows in this corner. That must be an issue because that is a place where the face is not closed. I can click cancel. And for this example, if I hover over this connector, I can see multiple indexes stacked. That means that there's more than one connector here. And if I look down in the lower right, you can see there's a connector 18 and a connector 68. I'll need to fix this or merge these connectors and then I should be able to create the block. So let's do that real quick. And a block is created. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.